is design of wearable reconfigurable antenna for IoT application. So introduction, wearable antenna provide an application over multiple frequencies in a single antenna. So basically uh, a wearable reconfigurable antenna. So wearable means the antenna is flexible, we can wear it and reconfigurable means the frequency will be you know like uh, the resonation frequency will shift accordingly so that is not a single frequency it will provide you multiple frequency that is reconfigurable we can able to reconfigure the resonation frequency so nowadays internet of things plays a wider role in technical world and iot basically provide a platform for devices to interact and collaborate with each other that means the uh, device will be connected to each other through internet so the proposal design so consists of a micro strip patch antenna with a relatively small dimension that is 40 mm cross 55 mm so that is the dimension length length and width of the antenna so so uh, for iot kind of application we know um, all the data are transmitted wirelessly so for that purpose uh, to transmit the data in wireless we are proposing some uh, reconfigurable antenna and the antenna is basically uh, consists of uh, the type of antenna is a micro strip patch antenna and uh, the design is proposed in such a way that the total dimension of the antenna is around 40 mm to 55 mm and the reconfer antenna obtain multiple frequency resonation by using different on off state condition that means uh, we use diode so diode is a switching device and if we turn it on the diode then it will provide you the, uh, the antenna will provide you one particular resonation frequency and we will make the diode in off condition then it will provide you uh, another one resonation frequency so this is how we obtain uh, frequency re reconfiguration by the introduction of diode so three switches are used to be uh, to achieve four different operating frequency in this design we will see that so different reconfiguration techniques are used to modify the properties of the antenna so these are the different uh, generally for reconfiguration uh, people are using different techniques uh, as mentioned here electrical reconfiguration optical reconfiguration mechanical reconfiguration techniques material change reconfiguration so these are the major so micro strip patch antenna are preferably used as a reconfiguration technique so most of the cases we use basic micro strip patch antenna and we will reconfigure the frequency so the objective of the project to design a compact size wearable reconfigurable micro strip antenna that can be used for different iot kind of application with the good con characteristics of reconfigurability and a low number of switching element that means we will reduce the number of switching elements just like a diode and we will get very good uh, resonation i mean reconfigurable uh, capability so that's the aim with a compact size so these are the different literature purpose so uh, i have mentioned few research papers four to five research papers uh, which is specifically for uh, reconfigurable antennas and each paper carries the kind of frequency uh, resonation uh, obtained and what is the directivity what is the gain and what is the total dimension of the antenna these are the uh, findings that i uh, mentioned here in different papers and and our proposal design so proposal design is shown here so uh, the first is the back view of the antenna micro patch antenna back side so we can see the ground and and the right side we can see which is the front view of the antenna where the substrate and top of that uh, i have placed the micro patch rectangular patch so that is a generic design uh, but in the back side i have created some slots and I have you can see that uh, a small black color dots are there three black color uh, dots are available so these three black color dots for example one is over here uh, then one is over here and another one over here you see these three are the diodes that I uh, implemented for the frequency reform durations so uh, if I am connecting making this first diode as on condition then these two uh, there is uh, the gap will be connected using this diode it will be in on condition so the signal start passing from this area to the other opposite area so likewise if i am connecting when the diode is on condition that diode will conduct and the diode is in off condition the diode will be off i mean will not conduct so that's 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 the capability 
this property will give the capability of frequency reconfiguration and the total length and width of the antenna is nothing but 40 mm cross 55 mm and these are the different dimensions that I used for the proposed design all the labels are marked in the antenna itself and the corresponding values are uh, mentioned over here and uh, once I simulate the antenna uh, this is the initial condition that means uh, I have mentioned here S1, S2, S3 these are I consider it as switches basically diodes so initial condition is off condition that means all the three diodes are off condition so once all the three diodes are off condition this is the S11 graph frequency versus uh, reflection coefficient graph and you can see that I am getting exactly at 2.45 gigahertz I am getting one resonation frequency and which is having a depth of around minus 11.5 that is a return loss value and the second condition is that you can see a uh, third diode that is s3 the switch i may just mention s3 switch so that the third diode is on condition now it's i just mark which has a black color so when the diode is in uh, on condition there is a signal passes through across the gap okay so uh, s3 is on and the first two diodes are off condition so that is 0, zero 001 condition so during that condition you can see that I am getting an extra already I am having one resonation frequency at a 2.5 GHz now I am getting another one resonation frequency which is at a 3.6 GHz uh, so uh, and actually and not only that uh, the, the return loss value is around minus 30 ok so here it is mentioned as 0 0.5 it is not that 0 0.5 uh, 10 minus 10.5 it is let me change it it is uh, the frequency of resonation is around 3.65 and the resonant I mean the return loss is around uh, minus 30 minus 30 dB that is the return loss this is gigahertz and this is the return loss that is minus 30 dB okay. so that is the output and the next diagram we can see that I can I have 10, 10 uh, both the diodes on that is S3 and S2 the last two diodes I turn it on and the first diode S1 has 10 off now this time we can see that I am getting another two different frequency one is around 2.5 and the other is around uh, 4.87 so again i am getting another one resonation frequency in addition to the first frequency that is 2.5 okay around 2.5 now i make all the three diodes are on condition so all the three diodes are on condition you can see that i am getting a single resonation frequency that is the first frequency that is 2.5 gigahertz okay so uh, I have merged all the four different conditions that you can see here 0 0 0 then 0 0 1 then 0 1 1 then 1 1 1 so that means these are the uh, consider these are the three diodes s1 s2 and s3 so 0 0 0 in a sense all the diodes are off condition then 0 0 1 means uh, your s3 is on then 0 1 1 means your s2 and s3 is on and all all are one that is one 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 that means your diode s1 s2 s3 both all the three diodes are on condition so the corresponding graph is shown here you can see each condition it is showing different different resonation frequencies and 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 that's that's what we can say that using diode uh, we can able to achieve a uh, frequency reconfiguration and all the three conditions are labeled here switching configurations of diode and those different conditions like case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 what is the resonant frequency and corresponding depth that is the resonant loss value and during that particular time what is the directivity and what is the gain obtained so all these values are uh, marked over here and these are radiation pattern so case 1 that is uh, your case 1 is here of 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 all the three diodes are off so during that case 1 condition uh, you are getting a uh, frequency uh, f is equal to one particular frequency f is equal to 2.4 gigahertz 
So during that particular condition, your E field radiation pattern and H field radiation pattern is shown here. Just like that, you, you have case 2. So case 2, you can see here we have uh, uh, resonation frequency at 3.65. So for that 3.65, the corresponding E field radiation pattern and the H field radiation pattern is shown here. And now, uh, 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 your case, uh, that is... Uh, case the next case is case 3 so we have two different uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, radiation pattern so the corresponding e field radiation pattern and h field radiation pattern is shown here so likewise all the case uh, different uh, results are shown here and finally uh, in the conclusion based on the switching state four different frequencies are obtained so that means the case 1 case 2 and case 3 case 4 all the four cases we are can able to obtain four different resonation frequency that is so generally we use an, a single antenna we can able to achieve a single resonation frequency so but using this diode uh, switching conditions like case 1 case 2 and case 3 case 4 conditions we can able to switch the diodes in different manner and we can able to achieve four different resonation frequencies and so here the operating frequency of the antenna is around 12 to 2.5 to 14 or 10 uh, that's the total range of the uh, frequency and uh, the antenna design uses roger 6002 substrate that's a substrate used for the antenna and uh, the dielectric constant of this particular uh, substrate is around 2.94 gigahertz i mean 2.94 that's the uh, dielectric property of the antenna so this is the results of this particular uh, design and now I will explain uh, the design so um, I have kept uh, uh, different four different cases like 00, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 and 0, uh, 1, 1, 1 so uh, I make it as 4 bit so the first four conditions uh, so first I will open 0, 0, 0 that is all all three diodes are on conditions so this is the antenna and you can see that this is the antenna friend this is the friend view and if you wanted to see the back view uh, this is the back view. You can see that this is the slot that I created at the back side. Okay, so so initial condition I, I have actually created lumped elements. Okay, so initial condition is I kept all the three diodes are off condition, so there is no diodes like uh, off condition. So the corresponding result is shown in S parameter. So this is the uh, frequency that you are getting a single resonation frequency that is below minus 10 dB you have one resonation frequency that is 2 point nearly 2.5 okay and now what about the other conditions so 0 0 1 1 So this is the second antenna that is 0, 0, 1, 1. Hold on. So uh, in this antenna, this is 0, uh, 0, 1 condition. So in this condition, uh, you can see this is a front view and the back view is shown here. So these are the four different files. So uh, the CST and uh, <coughs> the design file explanation will be given you in the next video. It's become longer video, so I'll I'll send another video with explanation.